This tag, there's your answer. This jacket costs $2,550 for the name on this tag. Now give me a few minutes of your time to tell you why I bought it, what I think of it, and how you can land one at least half off. Take a quick second to like the video and consider subscribing if you enjoy it. It truly means the world to me and the like makes a huge difference. Let's get into it. I've been eyeing the Saint Laurent Teddy jacket for years now, but could never get myself to spend so much on one jacket. As the Varsity and Bomber jacket gained popularity the last few years, the urge to buy a cheap one was at an all-time high. However, every time I went looking, I never bought one because none looked quite as stylish as Saint Laurent's. I figured it'd be one of those buy one, cry once scenarios, and I'd save up for the one I wanted. Starting off with a bit of background on the Teddy jacket. Saint Laurent launched it in 2013 under the direction of Eddie Salmon. Eddie Salmon is a French designer that worked for Saint Laurent from 2012 to 2016 before moving on to Celine. His influence laid the groundwork for what most people envision when they think of the typical Saint Laurent aesthetic. Boots, skinny jeans, and a leather jacket. The Teddy jacket is Saint Laurent's take on the varsity jacket. They took something that's usually worn a year or two in high school and made it into an icon. The simplicity of it makes it easy for anyone to wear and look effortlessly stylish. It's been seen on countless celebrities, all with completely different tastes and styles. From streetwear and athleisure to more put-together fits, the versatility of the teddy jacket is one of its best features. The jacket is super well made. The outer is constructed of thick wool and the inner has a silky material that is cool to the touch. The white strips are actually made of genuine lambskin and add a level of refinement that I appreciate. The ribbed cuffs and collar are made of a softer wool and cotton blend. The jacket is pretty thick and heavy and does a great job at keeping you warm. Some seasons did feature teddy jackets with the lighter wool, but majority of the ones are made from the thicker material. There's a sense of heft to it that reminds you of its quality every time you slip it on. The buttons are snap-on and feature Saint Laurent branding on each one. The pockets are also leather lined and come sealed. Everything is finished very nicely and is as you'd expect for a jacket this pricey. My only gripe is the fact that Saint Laurent gives you a plastic hanger. For how large the number is on the price tag, I can't be the only one that expects a wooden branded hanger that they use to display them in store. As a Texas A&M graduate, when I saw this maroon, I had to have it. It's a perfect shade of burgundy that isn't as flashy as the other colors St. Laurent comes out with. Season exclusive colors come out every year, but the black is their staple and still the most popular shade. The gray, olive green, and forest green are a few more options that would be pretty versatile if you want to stray away from the traditional black. I might be slightly biased when I say that this is one of the best shades they've released so far. Sizing on these really depends on how you plan on wearing it. If you want some extra room to layer it with a hoodie, I'd recommend going up a size. I went true to size with the 48, which fits like a medium. Opt for a 46 if you're a small, or a 50 if you're a large. Lastly, let's talk about pricing. Don't spend $2,550 on this jacket unless you have no time on your hands or don't feel like searching for a deal. There are plenty of ways to get at least 50% off if you put in a bit of work. The easiest way is to check websites like Farfetch'd, Essence, or End Clothing. It feels as if these jackets are always on sale there for around $13 to $1,500. If you want to save a bit more, you can scour sites like Grailed where a ton of new or slightly used pieces are available closer to the $1,000 mark. Mine was brand new, and after a bit of negotiation with the seller, I got it for right at $1,000. Your last option will be to hit up St. Laurent outlet stores. This will be the hardest since you won't know what's available. It's typically the seasonal colors or odd ones that they can't sell, but sometimes you can get very lucky. You can shoot any of the stores around the nation a call and they can ship you one even if you aren't local. The jacket is a staple that I don't see going out of style anytime soon. The simplicity of it really helps. It's one of those pieces where you can just throw on with anything and it won't look out of place and it'll elevate your outfit to another level. Is it too popular and overplayed? It depends. You might feel like it's overplayed if you see it all day on your Instagram feeds, but I've yet to see one out in public. If it fits your aesthetic and you think you'll get good wear out of it, I highly recommend it. As always, drop any questions you guys might have down below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers.